closet atheist here. I'm going to talk about a number of things today. Um, I was uh, browsing the internet today and I come across a couple of things and um, it actually pretty much pissed me the fuck off, you know. And the first thing I uh, want to bring up is uh, this whole hate crimes thing, you know. We, it seems to me that we've been having a lot of those lately. And it's uh, definitely a situation that needs to be addressed by media, anybody for that matter, regardless of color. Um, an article I seen today was about this couple that decided to go out for dinner one night and have fun together. They were a young couple, 21 and 23 I think it was. And they never got back home. So naturally their parents called the police. And it just so happens that their bodies were found. And one of the bodies was found at this black guy's house in a trash covered with a sheet. Now the article that I read this blogger, I guess is what you want to call him, uh, said, well, if he was white, he'd be, or I mean, if he was black, he would be uh, all over the news and this and that, or if he was white, you know, since he was white, he wasn't on the news and, and uh, stuff like that. You know what really pisses me off is when people use the, the color to construct their way of thinking. Humanity is so much more than a color. Um, people don't often look past that perspective that they do have. This blogger has a flawed perception. A flawed way of doing things. You know, you should look past the color. Humanity is so precious. It doesn't know no color. Neither does justice. And quite personally, quite personally, um, I rather pull out a justice card rather than worrying about someone's color. Justice knows no color. And regardless, if one person gets more media attention than the other, it doesn't matter. The point is they were brought to justice. Those five black individuals that were involved were brought to justice. You know. And it really fascinates me to see people think this way. I don't understand, you know, why people have to uh, associate color and pull out a racism card to play this little game, you know, if he was black, this and that, you know, you know. The problem with these people that were involved <coughs> is that they were ignorant. They acted out of sheer self-fulfillment and selfishness. The brutality of these individuals that were involved with this crime were, was complete immoral. I also read in the article that um, that they didn't do it because of a hate crime. They just did it out of enjoyment or being bored. To me, you know, all these things are more important of getting people to know than the motives of the media or anything else for that matter, whether based on the color of their skin. It's a fucking joke. I look at humanity and I don't see no color. We're all the same. We all bleed the same. We all put our pants on the same way. 
we don't, um, we might think different, you know, we might do things different, we come from different families, we handle things different, you know, but in all actuality, we are the same. Um, people are too precious. I'm a humanist. I look to people, I don't see their color, I look to see how a person is, you know. And to me, one person that messes up and does something like this, such as these group of black individuals that were involved in this crime, I don't look at it as that, well, they spoiled the rest of it for everybody. No. These actions were done by these individuals and these individuals alone. They are responsible for what they've done. Just like um, Trayvon Martin. I remember when I was that age. My head was so full of dreams. I wanted to be something, you know. And granted, you know, I do have some sort of hostility towards this topic because how the fuck are you going to kill somebody when they only have a bag of Skittles and a can of iced tea in their pocket? Really? Really? Shit doesn't make any sense. That's what they invented Mace for. If he was so combative. Um, I want you all to know that I support the Tray uh, Trayvon's family. I hope they seek out justice. But then again, I'm not pointing out that, well, because Trayvon's black, this whole media attention thing started. Society's perception of life is flawed. A lot of people don't have their priorities straight. They can't distinguish what's important and what is not. They pull, they're too busy pulling race cards. They're too busy uh, uh, saying uh, he's black and, and that's why he uh, got the most attention. What they failed not to realize is that it was a human who lost his life. A young kid who lost his life. Just like these couple that were killed by these individuals. Their perception is flawed, like I said. Society only wants to hear what they want to hear. They rather form their own conclusions than look at the facts. That's the way they've always worked. They don't pay attention to anything. Any damn thing. I look around here where I live on a daily basis. You know, and I see people. I don't see color. I have a lot of heart for everyone. I like everyone. I'm not racist. Um... I'm not against gay marriage. I'm not against anything. Your choice is your choice. If you want to do what you want to do, that's fine. You know, I have a lot of friends, black, gay, straight, whatnot, whatever the situation might be. You know, and they're people just like you and me. You know, white, Asian, doesn't matter. And society needs to get a hold on what matters. You know, what matters is color. Doesn't matter. What matters is a crime has been committed and it, justice needs to seek it. Um, it's all that matters. And a lot of people do not go with that. They form their own opinions and stuff like that, like I said. In order to understand life, we have to understand all aspects that it has to offer. You know? And not just be narrow-minded and have tunnel vision on the one certain subject like color or race. It's just flat out fucking ignorant. And I stand here and I say, 
It is true. This is my only second time on camera, so to correlate my words a little bit better and hopefully I can get it down in future videos, you know, better video content. But, you know, I would finally like to say, you know, in order for us to identify these problems, we have to identify within ourselves what our priorities are and we have to get them straight. Otherwise, we'll never, ever identify the issue. We'll just continue to form our own opinions. We'll just continue to do this and we'll do, continue to do that. And, and not get our priorities straight at all. Humanity, like I said before, is precious and should be taken seriously. Color is nothing to me. Color doesn't mean shit. We all are human and we should all be treated with respect honesty and dignity otherwise there's no point and I know I probably can't change the minds of everybody I come across or whatever the case might be but hopefully you guys can see my point because it's bullshit and to all of these media people to all everybody that covers these stories you know, thank you. But get your facts straight. The media, cover them more. All of you need to cover these important stories more. Make the world aware of what's going on, regardless of the color. White person, you go out there, cover it good. Black person, you do the same. You know, do not neglect one because of color and go to the other one because of color doesn't make any fucking sense you know and I just really pissed you know I'm at a loss for words with this situation you know but uh, thank you all for the moment of your time be on the lookout for more videos from me as soon as I'm able to correlate my words a little bit more you know I'm getting better at it, <laughs> you know, not much better, but I'm getting better. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm recently going to start uh, scripting. I think it'd be better because often when I jump in front of the camera, I stumble upon myself. I stumble over myself a lot and often lose track of what I'm saying, you know. So um, I'm going to start, like I said, I'm going to start scripting here soon, you know and work off a script rather than just think of things off the top of my head you know love you all out there I hope you guys like my video and future videos um, the path to greatness passes through the realm of pain with the heart of a lion persevere I shall. Peace.